What's good? It's Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. This is not right. another damn another damn podcast. Presented by our damn sales. So 372, kid. 372. 372. And um, we right in the middle of it right now. Y'all know that theme. The whole world <laughs> knows that theme. I don't know what I was just doing right there. <laughs> as far as you didn't go the... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Take it back to 68. <laughs> the fist. But, yes. Uh, yeah, we're in the 2024 Summer Olympics, the Paris Games. Yeah, and there's a lot of ninjas in Paris for real. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> thought she ate on that one. It's like, <laughs> like Snoop Dogg was part of the opening ceremonies. Like, yeah, carrying oh, that torch. Yeah. Snoop, I'm so happy. For Snoop. You see, see, walking in Paris, <laughs> he just looks so happy. Like Snoop is, he was just beaming because you could probably tell that he's like. Whoever would have thought that this was a kid think about from it. Long Beach, think California. About, think, think about 30 years ago, he was facing murder charges, and now you're at the opening ceremony. Of Kim that's murder was the case they gave me. He was 30 mm-hmm. years, was ago. 30 years he, ago. He's going yep. through a murder trial, like, yeah, 30 years ago at this time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crazy, where you never know where your life is going to take you. Somebody would have told you, man, like, like, let's say during the 96 Atlanta game, they told you, yeah, you know, Snoop Dogg is going to be part of the opening ceremony someday. Yeah, in 30 years, he's going to be. You wouldn't have believed that shit. It's like, <laughs> you wouldn't have believed that shit. I'm happy for him because, if you know, Snoop is, he's broadening his. Snoop is uh, pop stuff. culture at this time. <laughs> he is. Like, he's on The Voice now for next season. I saw the commercial. I was like, Snoop is on The Voice now? Some people like, are saying, which I believe it, Um, Snoop um, might be the, the most um, recognizable rapper in the world, like the most famous. I can believe that, yeah. If you mm-hmm. you know Snoop when you see him, even if you don't even listen to his music, yeah, is that Snoop Doggy Dog? Is like like he might be the most recognizable like rapper in the world. Like like I, I can see cool, that. I saw <laughs> okay. a cool video where he was in Scotland when he was uh, about to get on the plane. Then it was a guy and a killer. He had the bad pipe. He was playing Steel Dre on a bad pipe, <laughs> and then Snoop started sea walking to it. Started sea walking. He started sea walking to it. <laughs> Was was it? What are the odds of Snoop being at the DNC this year? He's he's gonna be there. I'm, he <laughs> he's gonna be there. It's like I'm calling. Him. He's a, it's best, best if they do like the they not like us intro. It's like Kendrick performs. This Snoop comes out sea walking, and then Kamala Harris comes out. It'd be the funniest shit of all time. It's like <laughs> that'd be the most uh, mad niggerish DNC in history. Yes. <laughs> Kamala is a Cali. She is a Cali girl. So, oh, so yeah, it'd be yeah, she's a Cali girl. So yeah, more you <laughs> call that. I called that the last week about the day not like us. That's going to happen because because <laughs> they got heavy competition. It's like you know the um the Republicans they showed out yeah and Amber Rose Hulk Hogan Kid Rock they showed out. So like <laughs> the Democrats say okay we got to top that. <laughs> they gonna put Kendrick Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Like Beyonce and Jay Z are probably gonna be there. It's like, it's like, <laughs> who somebody all wrote if the, the DNC? And somebody shit. wrote if uh, the uh, if the Beehive and the Swifties uh, come Taylor together, Swift is probably can, gonna be there. They can annihilate the our the uh, Travis, Travis <laughs> Kelsey is gonna be there too. It's like with Taylor. It's like all oh, that's gonna happen. <laughs> they can annihilate it. Said and then like the the highlight is gonna be like yeah Kendrick Lamar performing they not like us and shit Snoop Dogg C walking. And then the combo walks out. That's cool. that's gonna happen. It's gonna be mad niggerish, as they say. <laughs> We're gonna wheel out Charlie Murphy's corpse for that one. Like mad niggerish. It's gonna be <laughs> too much. But the yeah, Olympics have been good getting back before we before we move on to the politics. It's like yeah, I want to finish up the Olympic talk. It's like <laughs> I watched um uh, some, I've been watch I watched quite a few but a bit of men's basketball because I was watching mm-hmm. um last night Germany and um and uh who was I forgot Japan, was it or no? Japan thank you yeah Germany and Japan was playing yeah, Hashimoto was yeah was uh, Rui Hachimura played for mm-hmm. the Japan and then Dennis Schroeder was the starting point guard for the but people forget that yeah he did grow up in Germany it's like, yeah he's a German yeah mm-hmm. 
That's where he grips those. I off. saw him waving the flag on the boat. The flag bearer for yeah, the was... where when I <laughs> during the opening ceremonies, which I like. I like watching every year, seeing all of the nations come out. And they show mm -hmm. like some of them, like, yeah, like um have like, like people. four athletes. <laughs> like, they introduce an Algeria with four uh, four athletes. It's like yeah, the I United States two, got like, like six hundred and shit. It's like that. It's like, yeah. it's like, yeah. Yeah, like United States had what just under six hundred. Yeah, like six hundred is like, yeah. yeah. And then like some had like four hundred, like yeah, about Britain had years. a lot, France had a lot. There was like Germany. Yeah, Germany, mm -hmm. they had like a lot of athletes. Yeah. India, I think, had quite a few. India is the second most populated country. <laughs> China is the biggest, uh, most population. India is number two, like mm -hmm. over a billion people live in India. So they and then they made a point to say, yeah, Russia is not participating this year. They made a point because of the like, whole Russia Ukraine is, is like, yeah, because of the, yeah, that's still going year. on. Russia and Ukraine that's still going on. Yeah, they're bad, Russia. So interesting seeing both Palestine, um, Palestine there. That was interesting. <laughs> hey, in Palestine and Israel, I'm like, okay, yeah, like yeah. So they they had they. Had a ceasefire for the Olympics. <laughs> what if they play against each other? That would be crazy. If they had like <laughs> they had contests where both of my ended. It's like <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you're gonna put a little bit of extra sauce if you don't want to. Okay, I'm competing against them. Okay. <laughs> it was good though. I like yeah. watching the opening ceremony. I, always just watch it I like seeing it. to the people and just it just the, was a feel the, good the, moment. The Bacon's always fire me up for some reason. I, I always just seem like, like they so happy to be there like all the time. It's something they, about the, they the, were the, the, energy, <laughs> the energy is just like, yeah, like is um, infectious. <laughs> like the energy, whenever the Jamaicans, they just all, oh, they look like so happy. It is. <laughs> if you ever go to Jamaica, then you'll develop an accent while you're down there. <laughs> you just, patois. just you. <laughs> speaking the Patois, man. <laughs> Because, like, when we went and then they just kept on saying everything, they was like, Yeah, man, no worries. That's what they were like, Yeah, man, no worries. They just kept on saying, No worries about everything, no worries. <laughs> but I met Miss Jamaica, who at the time, like back in the like 20 years ago, she was the Miss Jamaica of that mm -hmm. era, yeah. And it is infectious, it's like, Yeah, that patois, mm -hmm. is like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but they always look the Jamaicans are always just so happy, like, yeah, like I was like, They always just. Pump me up for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, tropical <laughs> paradise. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> world stage, like bringing bringing some of that Jamaican culture to the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought that France, their uh, parents, did a really good job showing their culture. Um, you know, like the different acts. Like Lady Gaga did great, like with her stuff. And then I got so excited when I heard the music. I was like, are they about to do the can can? And then when I heard duh, 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 I was like, yeah, can. And the girls were kicking. The dancer, and you appreciated that one. <laughs> yeah, because Ariana, I was like, that's the can can dance. Because I was explaining to her, I was like, that's a that's a type of French dance that they do. And, you know, the girls, they have the high kicks. And Ariana was like, I can do that. <laughs> and she was like, she would do the high kicks now. I said, okay. <laughs> Like Tony Parker was one of the torch bearers. I like that. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. what's up to France, my nigga? Speaking <laughs> <laughs> in his native tongue, like, I heard nigga in there. I <laughs> kind, of, kind, of kind of heard that. But I, I also liked, um, I had to actually give her a history lesson when they did the Marie Antoinette thing. Cause that was a little bit when they did the heavy metal, they had Marie Antoinette. Cause when I saw the head, I'm like, oh, they're doing Marie Antoinette. Yeah. And Ariane was like, what's that? And I was like, off with their heads. <laughs> so I had to explain what a giddy team was to her. I was like, I hope this isn't too graphic. I was like, she is nine. I was like, but this is part of history. So, yeah. And then she was like, well, why did they do that to her? I was like, I think it was because of treason. And then we Googled it and said treason. I was like, yes, I remember something from history. <laughs> Cause I was just pulling out. I was like, I think it was treason that she We did. learned that at that, that age when we saw the um the French Tom and Jerry episode. I mean, yeah. when Tom was beheaded. <laughs> yeah. Which is like one of the darkest endings of Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty that was even pretty, as a kid uh, like that one. I was like, okay. <laughs> As a nine year old watching, it, it's like the they show Tom like this guillotine, and then they show like Nibbles. Even Nibbles and Jerry were like, What was that? <laughs> that was like, I think they changed it now when they like take that out. I'm like, now I think that they've removed that from they took the first. guillotine out. Now. <laughs> they, took it out now <laughs> they didn't care about us back then, they didn't care about the days and nights. 
But that was like <laughs> even then, huh? even though we don't actually see the act, but we know because like even ma off camera made it creepier. It's like yeah, because you see the like, guillotine go up and it just goes down. It's like yeah. so that, that made it creepier that we didn't see the act. It's like then you wonder, okay, what happened to Tom? It's like, <laughs> like that was my introduction to the guillotine. Was that it's like with Tom and Jerry? So so Ari got hers like with the yeah, history lesson. Okay, <laughs> so I had to explain that what was going on, and she was like she wanted to learn more about the French, you know, wanted to learn might more. Be a, she history. might be a history buff like yours, truly. Yeah, yeah, because she was like, she wanted. Well, what? Well, why would they do that? And I want to know what about the. Hit. I'm like, okay, we gotta start doing history. Take her, take her, you gotta take her to the Field Museum of Natural History. Then, yeah, yeah. I said we took her when she was really young, and then she was she was like two, and she fell asleep. So <laughs> now she can probably go. Yeah, now. you gotta have be a, of a certain age to appreciate. Yeah. It. When you little, just science and industry, it's like the easy one. <laughs> and then remember, they showed the Louvre, they showed where they stole the Mona Lisa yeah. in the opening. Yeah. And that's another thing I wanted to I explain to her. I said, Yeah, I said, when we go to Paris one day, I said, We are going to go to the different the museums. The most famous <laughs> painting of all time. I said, They have the Louvre there. I was like, We have a big museum here. The Art Institute is a big we museum. We have all um, American Gothic. We got one of the most famous paintings, right? And then what's the one with the. Oh, with the um, you know, the Saturday yeah. afternoon, it was called with the, the chick is. that with the, like she got a bird cage for her. Unless she has a bird cage, that one. Yeah, that's a famous one. I can't think of the name of that painting. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's at the um, art institute as is American Gothic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we got some famous paintings right here in Chicago, too. The one I wanted to see was uh, Starry Night, but that's at the Guggenheim. That's in New York, the Starry Night by uh, Van Gogh. That's the one I want to see. Yeah. But that's not here. Famous but, um, art, baby. <laughs> But yeah, Artists though I like too. That's a fun music. Which way? Artist too is a fun. Yeah, music. it's a fun music. I'm gonna take her. To go there too. I'm gonna take her because like, she art, likes so she art. Like it. She's in the art, so she like that. Yeah, because she paints and she does sculpt and she does all that. So I'm I like looking her. at the ancient Greece. Like uh, we see like statues from like like thousands of years. It's like just fascinating. Like these things like made in BC. It's like <laughs> it's like, like how just, they how they even. Like you think about the tools that they didn't have back there. So how did they create this masterpiece with yeah. like limited resources? Basically, it's like where my mind goes. Kind of stuff, yeah. I like, yeah. But um, now I, I couldn't even create that <laughs> with the all the materials I have now. I couldn't create it now. <laughs> but I've been checking out the Paris games. They've been good. Oh yeah, LeBron was the flag bearer for team for USA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And they all looked. High. I didn't know this was Steph's first Olympics. That shocked me. Cause I know I was shocked. I was like, like, I remember him playing, but then what I remember is like is the FIBA while um, basketball is like he okay. played in those because like they do those like in the off years, like um. So in two years, because every other every two years is like Olympics and then FIBA Olympics FIBA. So Olympics, like yeah, Olympics, so he okay. played in that. Like Derrick Rose played in FIBA, but not the Olympics. Derrick okay. Rose was supposed to be part of the 2012. We all know what happened that year right before that. He was supposed to be part of that team, the 2012 Olympic team. Mm -hmm. But then, like, the injury happened. And he did play in the 2014 FIBA games. And that's mm -hmm. after that, he started declining. Into, yeah. mm -hmm. So he did play in <laughs> Yeah, I was shocked to see that that yeah. was Steph Curry. has played in those. I'm like, I could have swore I seen Curry, like, out there, like, playing with Team USA. But it wasn't the Olympics. It was that, though. Well, yeah. he looked like he was beaming out there. So he looked very happy. So happy. Yeah. Um. What's the name? I think Shakari is gonna dominate this year. And Shakari gonna kill. It's gonna be her year, like cause um, she looks so happy. She was happy, just smiling. Yeah. She was. She had qualified for the, the twenty twenty games, which actually happened in twenty one because of the pandemic. right Tokyo games. So she should have been part of that like three years ago, but we all know what happened there. So mm -hmm. she um had um a, a Mary Jane incident. <laughs> it's like. It was like and got disqualified and yeah, that caused a big controversy. Yeah. And then after that, she like um like she kind of bottomed out like when she the, her first race after that, like she came in like dead last. So so she just she's come a long way since 2021. It's like and she looked like she's ready because uh she showed her Olympic nails and then somebody put a picture side by side of Flojo and her. And I was like, Yes, with the nails. Oh, that's way like, yes. That's um she looked up to, you could tell. Like that's she why. had her nails on, she had her, you know, her. Her nails, she's ready, you know. Yeah, so I'm expecting big things from her. Yeah, this. there's uh, is Thursday. I want to say the track and field is Thursday. Oh. They're qualifying, I think. And yeah. then gymnastics uh, happen earlier because like Paris is seven hours ahead of us in I'm Chicago. <laughs> 
So I wasn't waking up at like four o'clock in the morning. And I watched like, damn near that <laughs> whole basketball game with Serbia and United. I, like, I'm not waking up at four in the morning to watch this. <laughs> I'm tired. The best of Serbia play the best, but I watched them is like with um mm -hmm. Joker. Like, yeah, I definitely want to see the Joker. And um, but they do uh, but like the people they will do the replay for like the prime time stuff. Prime time, like, yeah. They, they will do the prime them, time America's stuff. all about prime time, yeah. That's Which why is, they ran it, the whole opening ceremony back, even though it actually went mm -hmm. live around noon. It's like I watched it when it happened live. Yeah, I watched it back the uh, replay of back, like that, most people like are at work during that time yeah because I was at work during the time so they're gonna run it back in prime time like uh, so I watched that uh the seven time Ariana and I watched it together you yeah. know so she you know she enjoyed it she was like oh this is cool you know yeah uh, it's her first Olympics because she was it's her like, first Olympics 2020 yeah. she was little she wasn't yeah yeah like we wanted she didn't care like back then <laughs> Yeah, be of a certain age to appreciate. Like, um, my mm -hmm. earliest um Olympics memories. I'm about to age to date myself a little bit. Is um the Mary Lou Red and Carl Lewis like that? that <laughs> like the '84 games. '84 like, Olympics. Kind of figure out hey, at my age. <laughs> it's like that's when I first got into the Olympics. Was that one? So the first women's gymnastics team I really saw was the Mary Lou Red team. Mm -hmm. And that's when um I realized oh like people really rock with the women. <laughs> yeah, like, Mine they was always, 92. Really my first with... one I really cared about was 92. Barcelona is your first yeah. Barcelona because the dream team. That was my dream team. Was my mine first. was um was is well, which they coming back to um in 2028, which I just found out recently. So I'm trying to plan the 84 games was um LA. So that was the last time hmm. in LA. So the but LA 40, games was 40 my years, 40. It'd be 40. Yes, yeah, so it'll be over 40 years in um 28. 44 wow. when they come back. Yeah, it'd be 44. Hmm. So like um, Olympics has always been kind of a bucket list item for my. So I got four years to plan to be at the. LA games in 2020. Yeah. Planning. Start mapping out your stuff now. So yeah. if if anybody wants to travel and try to go to LA yep. for the yeah. Olympics, right the four years. so I guess like uh one plane ride, that's easy to get to. It's like mm -hmm. yeah. Like if you even if you're close enough, you can drive there. Like if you live out yeah. like past Vegas, certain, you yeah. can drive from yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Even places like Oklahoma and shit like that, you could drive from. It's like, yeah, if you're close enough, you could drive to LA from there. Like, you, yeah, if you're close enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like Washington and like Oregon. Well, so I wonder how far Seattle, I wonder how big of a drive. Probably, it's a nice drive, but it's drivable though. It's like, yeah. Maybe it might be like driving the state of like Illinois, maybe. Possibly. Or like us driving yeah. to like um Cleveland or something like that, it might be like that. So like, driving the state of Illinois, if you drive from the furthest north to the furthest south, it's like a six hour drive. By like, Illinois, it's long. Like if you drive the length of Illinois, it's like a six hour drive. But yeah, if yeah. you're out there, I would definitely. If I was out west, I definitely would make that trip. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I'd like just once we taking a road trip. <laughs> I definitely would make the trip. Pack it in. <laughs> but yeah, I'm um I want to go now. Like I said, coming from Chicago because. Like, because I've had I had three opportunities where like three Olympic opportunities that got blown somehow, like <laughs> including the '96 games in Atlanta. Like I won't I won't tell why that didn't happen. You know why? <laughs> it happens. I mean, it happens. And then the '04 <laughs> games in um Athens, Greece, like which was special because that's where the Olympics started. So like yeah, mm -hmm. which is why Greece always goes first in the opening ceremonies because they start, which Giannis was the flag bearer for. Like, mm -hmm. And he made his. It's the first Greece. um first um black um flag bearer for Greece to open the ceremony. Hmm. Yeah, nice. So I, yeah. And I like just looking at the stadiums. I do want to go to Greece one day because just seeing the and then I was this is Sparta. I was going. I'm gonna do something Sparta. stupid like that. <laughs> my guy um Stone went. Lisa E was there. Like so, some of my people got to go to the the Athens Greece games. Like mm -hmm. something like that. Was, that was dope. Yeah. I didn't make it to that one. Like I was the peon. I don't know. <laughs> and then the third time we did so um, was out of our control. Like we went yeah, off. They we didn't supposed to come to Chicago, but Chicago didn't pick. I think Rio ended up getting picked, which I wasn't mad at Rio. It was like, it looked, <laughs> it looked amazing. Like on TV. Yeah, Rio did look amazing. I watched that. I'm like, yeah, they did a good job. They get better than we would have did probably. So I'm not bad at that one. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like Rio kicked ass. It's we like, got the food though in Chicago. I put our food against anybody. We got food here. <laughs> but uh, no. you want to eat and come to Chicago? <laughs> Do that. We got the food. 
<laughs> Chicago would have been perfect because like no travel, no lodging. It's like you already here. It's like, you just got to get um get into the events. That's all. It's like all it, it cuts down on all of that other shit. It's like and me. I would have used my um, media pool to like get in some of those events. All the <laughs> Uh, if it was a Chicago game, I definitely would have pulled that. Yeah. So, but so that's three times that um three potential times that yeah, that but it just didn't mm -hmm. happen. So so fourth time would be the charm. <laughs> the three is kind of my lucky number. If you want to throw out the Rio ones, because that never really happened. Like that was a DQ. So this would be my third like actual attempt to go there. Yeah, because the um, Rio, we were, we won't count that. Because like that Chicago could have been it, but it wasn't. Oh yeah. So we won't count that one. Like so, third time would be the charm. Would be as usual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to the LA games in 28. Damn it. I'm calling it. <laughs> calling my shot. But I have um enjoyed so far what i've seen the paris games mm -hmm. yeah and like niggas are in paris for real home. so we saw saw spike lee at the um basketball game like of course he's like, um, spike we saw um who else we saw uh, queen latifah i saw her it's like yeah she mm, nice the, um, the game earlier i saw her nice who else did I see? Um, yeah, we started seeing some of the celebs. Like, okay, they made their way out. I there. did see um the trailer because I saw that they had Ariana Grande and Cynthia, uh, the one who played Harriet. They they had uh, them. Um, Arivo, and, yeah. Arivo, yeah, because they're going to be in Wicked because Wicked is coming out. I on saw TV. the Wicked trailer. Yeah, I'm interested. You know, I'm eyes. So anything, I'm anything with the eye. Yeah, <laughs> I am. And I'm seeing. <laughs> And I've seen it on Broadway. I saw it at um you saw it, uh, in live, Chicago. Yeah. I saw it at a theater in Chicago for um the Broadway production of it, the theater production. So it looks uh, it looked like it should be good. The um the trailer I did see, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I was like, hmm. I was like, I think I might check that out to see Wicked as the theatrical version. So that might be you should a, watch um, every version of Wizard of Oz. That might be a Black Friday thing because it comes out Thanksgiving, so that might be like a Black Friday movie. I take Ariana to maybe. Yeah, that might be that. I should watch mm -hmm. every version of yeah. the Wizard of Oz because it's been like so many versions. Uh, it's been should, a lot, yeah. They did the Oz Great and Powerful a few years ago. Mm -hmm. They did like Return to Oz in the '80s, like The Wiz mm -hmm. in the '70s. It's like it's been like so many it's versions. Been a lot of different. It's, it's like and interpretations know, of. Yeah. That's because um the Wizard of Oz is public domain, like that story frame. Mm -hmm. Like we could make a, a Wizard of Oz movie. <laughs> like, yeah, nobody owns it. Like anybody can make it. And you ain't gotta pay for it. That's what... and you can do your own adaptation of like what you want to be. Because maybe the Munchkins might have their own backstory. Yeah, so, you know, Munchkin backstory is like yeah, it's mm -hmm. like you can show um yeah like like. We the, uh, just the scarecrow his story, like how he yeah, ended up. <laughs> it's like you could do like different interpretations of the Tim Man. Like, was he actual man that they that a spell happened? It turned him ten. I got, I got um. my story with the Tin Man. It's like um the Tin Man got like why he got such a crappy deal in the Wizard of Oz. It's like because um because what they needed was like validation, like because they had what they were looking for every character. Like think mm -hmm. it's like um like not counting Dorothy, we'll come back to her, but um Tin Man, he wanted a brain. He's like, okay, you need validation. Hey, I mean, yeah, Scarecrow needed a brain. I'm gonna give you validation. It's like, okay, he gave him a diploma, validation. Mm -hmm. Like the lion need courage. Okay, like you validation, he gave him a medal. Tin man, he needed a heart. He gave him a, a, a heart shaped clock. It's like he got the crappiest gift. I don't know. <laughs> hey, he didn't really get the validation. <laughs> so that would be my interpretation. Like the Tin Man's like, <laughs> this is this is it really? It's like <laughs> <laughs> I always said the Tin Man got the raw deal of the three because like because what they wanted was because they you already yeah you have a brain you have courage you just need that validation of you need the it. confidence yeah. yeah. So he's like, okay, you use a diploma. Here's a medal, like, yeah, for bravery. He's like, so you have it. Here's a clock for you. It's like, shape like heart. <laughs> you might well, as well flying monkeys need a story. Get them a fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Evil. They were mutated experiment gone I think, wrong. <laughs> I think an Eveline like, backstory would be fun, too. Like, yeah, like, yeah. like the weird yeah, like with Eveline. It's like, hey, show her backstory. And like, the lady that was in that Tyler Perry movie, Divorce in the Black, who played Eveline. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Monique, as they called her, also. Yeah, you can even got the name. It's like, yeah. 
Don't no bad news the evil No bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Even got the Don't perfect title. Me, no bad news. <laughs> Rest in peace to the late great Mabel King. Mabel King, she killed that role. She <laughs> played did. her in the stage play and in the movie. She played her twice, like the Eveline character. <laughs> who played her in um I forgot who played her in um the the 2015 live movies. I can't remember who played Eveline. I forgot that week. I can't either. Some bug the shit out of me. I don't remember and shit. Yeah. Oh, what Mary did mine. Was it Mary? Yeah, because she was like, I don't want any water. Like the way she's saying, was it Mary? Blige. I was trying to remember. I was like, I think it was Mary J. Blige. I just, it just like, played Eveline. That was Mary. She was like, water when the water went on her. Water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eveline. <laughs> but yeah, Wizard of Oz, like anybody can do a Wizard of Oz. That's why they keep seeing the stories, like, because mm -hmm. nobody owns. Only thing that's owned, like, is like the songs from like the movie and like the and they are the Ruby Slippers. That's why you know you only seen the Ruby Slippers in that. Every other adaptation is always like Silver Slippers. It's like because mm -hmm. like um, MGM owns the Ruby Slippers and um, the, if I only had a brain and all of that, you can't make mm -hmm. those songs over. So, but mm -hmm. anything else apart that movie, you can make those. <laughs> the Munchkin is definitely King of the Four Right, <laughs> songs. It's like. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road, like all the little songs. It's like you can <laughs> follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> Might watch the 39 version tonight to kick off my Wizard of Oz, like marathon, mm -hmm. watch them all. <laughs> Get ready for the wicked in the fall. It's like start watching all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess so. Return to Oz in the 80s was weird as shit. Like, I gotta admit that. <laughs> <laughs> that one was weird. <laughs> it felt like uh, Tim Burton's like made that to me. It's like <laughs> it was weird. It's like <laughs> Wait, I wonder if he was affiliated. Maybe he worked as an intern on that movie. It's like because <laughs> it felt weird. Tim Burton is interesting. I'll, I'll say that. His work is interesting. It felt like the Tim Burton version of like, like it, even though he, if I look and they say he interned on that, I'm like, I'm not surprised. Things start making more sense. Like, I can see that. In, yeah, the return to Oz in the 80s was definitely weird. <laughs> but um, uh, we got other stuff to get to. Yeah, we oh, just yeah. started. I just want to kick it off the Olympic Games. It's like, yeah, which we only get every four years. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about uh where the hell are we gonna start on uh, well we we kicked off some election talk is like um looks like Kamala Harris is gonna officially be the Democratic nominee. We talked about we had breaking news last week with Joe Biden dropping mm -hmm. out. That happened as we were recording it. <laughs> right when I right when I hit record, it's like, wait a minute, breaking news, like literally, right like yeah, out. it happened right when we were starting. That's why we went right into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, it's been all kinds of conspiracy theories about Joe Biden. People are saying that is he uh, is he already dead? People have been calling him. Like, <laughs> it's been like so much about that, like <laughs> saying that the this speech from the White House was AI generated and shit. Like he gave his. <laughs> it's been like so many Joe Biden conspiracy theories. It's like it's like since that is. <laughs> so. He's not dead. He he is old and he is sick. That's the reality. He is old and he is sick. I believe. People are saying that he he did he already perish and they're just gonna like um just run it out until November and shit. It's like if he's dead, it. then um yeah, then yeah, that means Kamala would automatically become president right yeah, now. Yeah, because he'd be running for like re election is like but yeah, yeah. somebody deceased then. Yeah, so the next in line has to this step is, up. Like, but it's been real weird that um <laughs> The way that the um, if people have been looking, if you've been pointing out stuff, okay, look at here. Yeah, here's how he looked um last year. Here's him now. It's like people have been doing their comparisons and all. That. It's been very weird, like the way it's been covered online. But how do you feel about Kamala Harris um being the um Democratic nominee? Like, what's your um? Because my I, I my timeline has been. It's been split. I don't know about you. I mean, she's split pretty even. It's like yeah. she would be the next person to step up. I said because, like you said, if by if something did happen to Biden where he was unable to fulfill his duties anyway, that's the purpose of a vice president. Yeah, 
which um the last time that our uh, president resigned it off was like Mr. I am not a crook. Is that we saw? I am not a crook. Richard Nixon resigned, and then um Gerald Ford took over. That's like the last mm-hmm. time. And like the last assassination was like Kennedy and like Elvis Kennedy. took over mm-hmm. the rest of his term. So so like this has just like all of this is like 50 and 60 years ago. Wait, that was like we know 50, what happened with Nixon. He was a crook, but we know it's like 50 him. years ago, the last time a president stepped down and a vice president took mm-hmm. over, like it was Gerald Ford. That's how Ford became president because nobody mm-hmm. voted for Gerald Ford. Nobody like, liked Gerald Ford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't joke about the Simpsons. Yeah, president because <laughs> Nixon walked away. That's what <laughs> they joked about on the Simpsons with Gerald Ford. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, obviously, before our time, like we didn't, you know, I can only go off of like what our parents tell us. Like, the Reagan administration is early, so I can remember. <laughs> yeah. I remember Mr. Gorbachev tearing down this wall. I remember that with um, Bush, the first Bush. Bush saying. That was when the wall came down. Tear down this wall, because I remember that was a big thing. That's like the early, an early story I remember as a kid. No new taxes and all. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like I said, I feel like, okay, like she would be the eligible person. And like, you know how I, like how I feel personally, I said that if they saw that they could have, they, they know that they know that Joe's health has been in question for a while. I'm sure it wasn't like he just went 80. And it's like, you know, I I'm question. fine I question. today. And then I'm not fine tomorrow. It wasn't I question that. shit when he was running in 2020. It's like, I've been, he's been, it's been, it been something off about him. Like he, he wasn't the same dude that was Obama's vice president to me. I've said at least that since early, I said at least since late 21, 22 is when I started to notice like said, late 21, 22 is when I started to notice a decline. Yeah. I was like, this is not the same dude. I mean, when he first got elected, he wasn't. He was still like sprightly. Like, you know that video showing him like running, like you know when he got like he like ran up the stairs, like he looked still sprightly, even though he was older. He still looked sprightly. Definitely ain't running no stairs now. He'd be like, because he did. He he <laughs> ran up the stairs with you know, he ran up those stairs. But then, like I said, end of like late twenty one, early twenty two, I started seeing some decline, and then definitely by like last year twenty three, like you definitely it was an obvious. It's By me, last year, all, it was this campaign good. ended was that debate shit. That was it. It's like um, even though he tried to stay in the race, but uh, I mean, like everybody in this year been trying to say, dude, you need to drop out. He finally yeah. listened. It's like yeah, yeah like yeah. the debate was it. It's like um, when to me, like the moment he lost the debate to me is um, when he 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 gave a response to some answer and Trump's response yeah, was I like, I, I don't even know what he said. It's like, yeah, which he really didn't. He's like bumbled some gibberish. He's like, yeah, I, I, don't even know, I, think I don't even know what he said. It's just, it's a, that was like to me the debate ended. His his campaign ended right there. Like so I don't even know what he said. It's and a, that's my thing. Like I feel like if you if you knew that his health was in question, then you could have vetted more people and have more of like a pool. They should have ran a primary. Like, it's like but now this lay in the game is like, like y'all are the assholes that decided to like not run anybody against him. It's Let's like, run it back. That cat that was like, yeah, like um, like Kennedy, like he like wanted, like Kennedy probably would have watched him and shit. It's like because now he's running as an independent. Like he he might um. Ross Perot this election is like, yeah, because he, <laughs> he's um, he's like, did say, okay, you won't let me run as a Democrat. I'm gonna run as an independent. He's still Can't in there. Ross Perot get like twelve percent of the votes or something. He got about seventeen. <laughs> he took a night. Like, he yeah. didn't even bury. Yes, yeah. I know he got a good percentage. Perot, I know the, Ross Perot did get. A that good was percentage. the ninety two election. He had yeah ninety six. He had kind of fallen off by then, but like. <laughs> 92, he had a good, damn good showing. It's like, like, I know that he got a high percent. Like, I know he did well, yep. considering he did do well. A lot of people were rocking with Ross Perot in that point. Well, they always had, they always could have won with Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson could have. Willie Wilson ran. <laughs> Willie Wilson runs for everything. Yeah. That would have been amazing if Willie Wilson on that debate stage and shit. Yeah. Then again, we never know what he says. So, like, <laughs> 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 I told I that's all I told the story. Um, yeah, my um, 
babe, Lindori. She um she got some um Willie Wilson gave her some cash. <laughs> she was one of the recipients of the Willie Wilson that's, cash. That's a Willie Wilson thing. He just shows like, and hands out hundred dollar bills. That's that's what he does. He just she, her and her her girl were out having lunch and like Willie Wilson was there. He's like, Yeah, no, I, I got your tab. It's like he okay. just made the tab. It's like so I was like, okay, so that shit is real. Willie Wilson really do just be yeah. like giving out money. <laughs> if Marcus and I ever out, uh we have like, I wouldn't turn out really well. like he could pay our tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got we got your bill courtesy of Mr. Wilson. It's like <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me let me get let me get another one of them lobsters. <laughs> 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 I'm taking a to go plate now. <laughs> Let me get a bruschetta. Let me get a yeah. like to go like when you go to a barbecue. <laughs> put the foil on top of it. Yeah. I'm taking me a plate to go now. Willie Wilson's fan. Okay. Another round of everything, man. It's like I'm taking a plate to go now. <laughs> That's just how I feel about it. It's a like proper plan. If they knew that then proper more proper plan should have been put in place. Yeah, but other guy like um Cornell West ran. It's like it's like it's other candidates that were running for president. It's like, yeah. It's like I'm sure but Bernie think, probably threw his name in again. He always was hanging around. But Ber like, Bernie got screwed. Up. Bernie he got screwed in sixteen. They should have been a sixteen nominees, like yeah. It's like they wanted Hillary up there so bad, though. It's like, yeah, and then she didn't even win. It's like, yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> they wanted her so bad. It's like, <laughs> but I don't think that Kamala is a bad candidate, but I just think that more planning should have, yeah, like it just feels so like now what? Okay, let's just let's throw it together. Kind of just, just feels, um, she kind of got know. handed this nomination. That's what people are saying, like she didn't earn it, he, like, um, because. She didn't run a primary, it's like, you know, they just like, okay, Vite is gone, you just automatically hand it. And it's like, mm -hmm. she was, she's not battle tested, is what I've been saying. And it's like, it's just been a lot in my timeline. It's split. And a lot of it is, um, I don't know about yours, a lot of it is, is um, <laughs> is gender related on my, yeah. There's a lot of black men that are not riding with her. And then a lot, of course, the black women are like strolling to the polls, like, especially the, the Greek black women, aka in particular, is like yeah. is going to be out there for her. But even all of the black Greeks have been like going hard, like especially them is like mm -hmm. the pink, the the pink and greens, especially and shit is like been going hard. Yeah, been posting their memes and all of that shit is like yeah. The funniest meme I saw, I had the picture of uh, the Crips and the Bloods from the night where they had their bandanas tied together in solidarity, yeah. and it said uh, AKs and Deltas for the next four months. <laughs> yeah. That made me laugh out loud. Somebody posted that. <laughs> so what is gonna come oh, down to? I'm I'm calling it now. Like um, I've been pretty um spot on right <laughs> for a while. It's like yeah, I'm not calling myself um Oz the Greek or nothing, but yeah, I've been, been pretty spot on. Nicodemus, you're Nicodemus. is like yeah, <laughs> Oz, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> not Ostradamus or nothing. It's like but um. I have been um pretty spot on. It's like I'm black men are going to decide this election. It depends on which way they go. It's like I think black men are like black. with the last one, Stacey Abrams, black women. Yeah. The Stacey Abrams, she <laughs> she did uh yeah. <laughs> Black she men, did that. Stacey Abrams black did men, that. Black men ride with Kamala. She probably wins it because right now the Democrats got a lot of uh, momentum. Like that change, like completely energized the party because they were mm -hmm. dead in the water after that. Especially like I said it what two weeks ago when the assassination attempt on Trump was the first thing I said. Like Trump might have just have, won the election. With that. Won like, the yeah. election. So they were dead in the water after that. Like even though like the assassination was taken on Trump, like it really assassinated Biden's campaign. It's like Democrats were dead in the water after that. I'm like Trump mm -hmm. might have just won the election with that that one that shot right there. The the shot to the ear might have just won him the election. But damn, by switching out with Kamala, they got a whole new energy now. They got a whole new energy. And people talk about this election that weren't talking about it before. Like, it's a whole new energy. So I'm like, okay, yeah. And my thing is, uh, what mom was saying to me the other day when she came over, mom was like, Kamala's smart. Because she is. Like, she's a prosecutor. Like, she she was a prosecutor. They she's going around that angle, the prosecutor and the 34 convicted felon is like that. They got, they running that. It's like a prosecutor. Because versus, she's smart. Uh, yeah, and but, the yeah. thing is, is that I don't think that Trump wants to debate her. I don't think he is because I think he'll. I don't think he's gonna debate her. He saw. I don't think he wants to debate her. 
he already pulled out of um because like him and Biden was supposed to have another one in um like September. He already said that um he's not. He doesn't want to debate her because the thing he said about that he a debater, but it has to be on Fox and shit. So there because we... the thing, the thing about <laughs> it with home her court is advantage, that, yeah, you want the thing that. about it with her is that you can't do the stuff that you did with Biden. You can't do that with her. She's not. Mm -mm. <laughs> she's smart. She's very smart. So you're not going to be she, able to. She ain't gonna mumble incoherently first of all. And you're not going to be able to and. With her being a prosecutor, like lawyers' minds work different. Like I say, you know some lawyers. We know lawyers. Their minds work different. So, like about attorney Brooks, attorney Brooks, Xavier, Xavier Pope Esquire. We know some lawyers. We do. <laughs> so it's like when they hear a certain thing, and Trump does do a lot of double talk. He does like when he talks to his stuff. He says a lot of good stuff that like gets you fired up. He bases a lot of his stuff on emotion versus facts. So if you driving people with emotion and not facts, people, yeah, that's right. Let's get do, 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 do. But then as a lawyer, you'd be like, wait a minute. And so-and-so, so-and-so, you said so-and-so. But then you so-and-so, so-and-so. But then you so-and-so, so-and-so. And then you so-and-so, so-and-so. Can you clarify that? Hmm. Lawyers can pull out that stuff where they can pull out, okay, like you said this, and then this directly contradicted this statement. And then you did this statement. And then they can pull out the stuff to pull in the logic. And then you can't you can't uh bat, you can't uh fight logic. If somebody is just focused on logic and just focused on these are the facts, this is the logic, you can yeah, so keep on I'll... going on emotion, you're gonna lose. Yeah. You're gonna lose if you keep on trying because like he got that MAGA crowd behind him. He got that MAGA, they super emotional, they super, especially, super emotional. They don't care post, about facts. Post assassination attempt. They don't care about facts. But if you pull if you pull it enough where you can pull them, because I've seen videos where like they have MAGA people and then they make them make a hip uh, a hypocrisy statement, and then you can see the wheels turn like midway through their statement, they directly contradict what they just said earlier. Like not even a I, I see that, that on I see that yourself. I see that on both sides, but I get what you're saying. It's and like, you like <laughs> you like wait a minute, like you said that you on, want so and so, so and so. I but, see that on the left and on the right. I see that. Yeah, right. you said you want so and so, but then you did so and so, so and so. Yeah. But that, but that's what most people, because it's like I always say about people, you don't care about stuff until it affects you. Most people don't have empathy. Yeah. Everything is good until it affects you. Like you don't care about. Okay, we can put we can put up so and so. We can put um. Like a big one, they keep on talking about, let's close off the borders. Let's not let immigrants in. Let's do the whole whatever. Let's do that. Um, but then you're like, yeah, you're screaming. Yeah, but then if they be like, well, let's take away resources from veterans. Now you're like, wait a minute. My dad's a veteran. So you're going to take away resources. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you don't care about stuff until it gets you. Kind of with them. Like, they just stop sending the migrants here. I'm with that. It's, like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a mixed it's bag. Tough. The way I feel about stuff is I say... Um, um as a person, you should, if you can, if you can help somebody that is less fortunate, you should. However, make sure your foundation and your house is up first before you start trying to, <laughs> you can't that's help somebody true. if your house is shaky. Not take home. You can't pour from an empty cup. <laughs> if your house, if you have, you, you built your house on a house of cards, you, you have a house of cards that can fall down at any time. You can't help no one. It's like Make why sure you all money overseas, like Ukraine and Israel and Palestine and all of that. It's like that's my thing. Make it's sure fucked up here and shit. First. It's like yeah, like those Fix billions. Your issues here home. first, yeah. and writing a check and throwing money at stuff doesn't necessarily fix issues. No, nah, I don't. Obviously, we know that money is like I and I know you guys are like, oh, I'm not running for nothing. I, I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> I just have ideas. I can I can give uh, ideas. I'm gonna talk about that. Why why Obama took so long to endorse Kamala? I'm gonna talk about that in a second. I'll let yeah, you go I ahead, finish your thought, and I'm all, I'm, I got I'm gonna I'm, I'm give my theory why Obama took so mm -hmm. long to endorse because he, he just endorsed her like yes. Yeah, I saw him and Michelle just endorse her. Yeah, I got I my say, theory on that. Go ahead. I say, like I said, like writing a check doesn't just automatically wipe out because like we always say, if you give a poor person a hundred thousand dollars and they don't have any sense of what to do with that hundred thousand dollars, they going to buy a bunch of crap and still be and still be broke. They're not going to know I, um, If reparations checks are ever cut, it's like it got to be like a plan in place. Mm hmm. 
It can't just be like, okay, every black person gets it's a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, a million, whatever the number you come up with is like. It can't just be that. You got to have a plan in place because that money's mm -hmm. gonna go to Gucci. It's gonna go to the travel Cadillac. agent, the Cadillac, <laughs> the travel agent. It's like all of that money. That's Louis where time. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's going? Gucci, Louis, Cadillac, and the travel agent is where all of that money is going. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you still not gonna have anything after that. It's <laughs> Very little. I'm like businesses aren't going to be started. Uh, investments aren't going to be made. Oh, and, let, and let's knock off like about um the black people not having money. Like it's cap. It's like we see it yes. now. <laughs> Look at what just happened. Is like um when Kamala announced her um pre is like um raised a hundred dollars, million dollars in like twenty four hours. Call <laughs> is like yeah, like with the the um the black women Zoom call like with forty thousand women on there or some shit like which I don't even know if Zoom works like that. Like I'm gonna try to get forty thousand people on this zoom i didn't know zoom worked like that i guess it does though it's like hey how many people can i should just google that how many people can be on a zoom call but they said it was like forty thousand on that Damn. one and they raised what like a few million or something it's like so i was like um yeah we black people got money it's like <laughs> when you really are uh, when it really comes down to it it's like yeah you raise yeah. all of that for success but my thing that i have a problem with that success and wealth is not a thing that isn't a black like like I'm I'm gonna bar for success and wealth is a black job. It is <laughs> that is a black job. You can be successful and build wealth and be black. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, <laughs> like let's not let's knock that off. Let's see, like black people, we all are like yeah, we're all like disenfranchised. We all grew up like good times. No, we didn't. All of us didn't grow up like good times. Yeah, all of us did so not. Black people don't got money. I'm like, what was that then? It's like in 24 hours, like all of them. It yeah, came. Yeah, because she raised like close to 100 million dollars or so. Yeah, it overall, it's crazy. like yeah, and from yeah. just from blacks, it was like some millions. Like, I don't know, I mean, just on that one call, I'm like, it's like with the yeah. the, the black that it probably was a lot of the, um the black Greeks in that call. Mm -hmm. Well, like, was um, what did Tyler Perry say? Is like, yeah, dumb. What he said, highbrow Negroes. Highbrow Negroes. <laughs> yeah. Or the uppity Negroes, as I as they say, he or the black the black Negroes. bourgeois. Is all like said the black bourgeois. They were in that column, sure. but they Bad raised and like Bad yeah. And yeah, the black bourgeois were part of that shit. Or mm -hmm. like what did um W B the boys call them back the the talented tenth and shit is like yeah, a lot of them were part of that call. It's like, I always <laughs> picture just Roscoe Lee Brown because he played that role very well <laughs> as a lot, Sididi, you know. A lot, a lot that on that call is like I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. But um, speaking of like the the um the top of the food chain of black bourgeois, the Obama, it's like let's get mad. It's like <laughs> the reason why um it took so long for Barack to endorse her. My theory is um it still is a possibility of like is Michelle going to run? It's like yeah, and mm -hmm. that's because that was out there for a while. A rumor is like yeah, because like with um Biden dropping out, it's, a, it's wide open. The, the um. People are they you're like let's wait and see like are people rocking with Kamala and you saw it's enough people that are with her is okay like now I'll throw my like because if people would say ah oh, fuck Kamala I'm not like if it was like more of that then like they probably would have talked much hell into running like into for the nomination because it's in her hometown Chicago the DNC is mm -hmm. like the convention so that had been a perfect for our time for her to announce that um her her candidacy. So she said she don't want it because like they did, but she was like, nah. <laughs> I've been talking to it for years. It's like, yeah, and um, that was the it. opportunity. So I said it was strategic. I said if I can't, if he do, he can't endorse her. Like if Michelle is going to run, it's like, see, let me see, let's see what happens. It's like, and then when um Kamala got enough of the support, he said, okay, like we endorse, we fully endorse and her. Let's stop with this. Kamala is black. She is. It's a, um that's let's, that's. A <laughs> that's a good Let, let's, Here, stop saying she's not black. let's break it down with that it's stop like saying she's not black it's um it's it's late it's levels to it she's black but um which is the um the new thing now is like um is like ados slash fba i don't know if you're familiar with any of that it's like it ados is the yeah american descendants of slaves it's like the slavery yeah ados yeah i know that and uh -huh. another one is like which Tariq nasheed is the one mostly pushing is like fba is foundational black americans it's basically like um the new term for like blacks born here is like yeah if mm -hmm. you came from like slave like yeah you had ancestors who were slaves in america Mm -hmm. you no, know, that's what um FBA slash ADOS is. Is like, and that's what they saying is, oh yeah, she's black, yeah, but she's not, she's not FBA. Like, so she ain't one of us. It's like, 
Like, yeah, like she doesn't come from the same lineage that we do. That's what um that crowd is really saying. And if you want to go by that, then Obama wasn't technically black then. Yeah, because his uh, mom was white, his dad was a Kenyan immigrant. Saw somebody mention that is like the only. And technically, Obama isn't black then. Saw somebody if you go by mention that. that is like the only blacks that you allow like on that level are like ones that aren't FBA. I like, said if you break it down, a lot of people that you claim that like let's not get into that because a lot of people that so called people that you a lot of people are mixed that you don't know are mixed. A lot of people are. <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah. If you actually break it down like that, a lot of people then wouldn't qualify under that. And um, uh, people say she was raised Asian. I, I mean, raised um, Indian. It's like, I don't know her backstory, but they say that she grew up in an Indian household. It Or seemed like she recognizes both of her cultures because her dad was a Jamaican and her mom is Indian, right? something like that, yeah. And it seemed like she recognizes both of her things. And then the fact that she went to HBCU and pledged a black sorority Before any of this, like I said, this is before no one even knew who she was. Like she chose to do that. She chose to go to HBCU and Um, to pledge a black sorority. She chose that. yeah, this election is going to be fascinating. Mama was probably at the original Freaknik in the '80s. She probably was because she's of that age where <laughs> the original one, Picnic, one's Freaknik not the Freaknik. not the wild Well, not one because the she's not like the close Uncle to Luke 60. version that um Yeah, that, Kamala is that, like that 59. my generation Yeah, was so. part of. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, Kamala probably went to the one where, like, the originators are the ones who started, the original ones who It started was the like Freaknik the Black Picnic. Greeks in the park, yeah, which is like, yes, it was like that. Yeah, she probably went to that. I said that she was a Black Greek, so she probably was out there. I saw the pictures of her from Howard back then. You had the and salt she, and pepper hair cut and all she of had that. the, um, it, it was very uh, Lisa Lisa. Like, she had the Lisa Lisa hair, you know, like the, how Lisa Lisa had She the looked like salt, like, like, like Cheryl, like from salt and pepper. <laughs> she had the salt and pepper haircut. That's what I call it. So. That was the style, though. That was the style. In the 80s, you know, you rocked that. Yeah. But, But I mean, like, stop, stop doing that. I said, what I've recognized is that depending on how much somebody likes you, people recognize you according to that. Because, like, a person who technically, if you say that if you have a parent that isn't black, then J. Cole isn't black then because his mom is white. So, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, when you, like, break it down, like, The <laughs> one you break now, it down. of course, Drake has been catching it now, like, after the <laughs> Drake. People He's try Canadian to take, too, people try so. to snatch, trying to snatch Drake's blackness now. <laughs> He's Canadian, so he really don't. I'm kidding. No, just a cat. <laughs> And of course, Amber Rose, since she like so endorsed Trump, they trying to snatch her blackness away too. So blackness is like depends on if people like you. That's what it's like. That's the that's the sliding scale of how much we like you. If we like you a lot, then that's the only race that does that. Like it's like Asians, the Mexicans, they don't. If you um you don't lose your Mexican heritage because you support a certain candidate, but blackness depends on like okay, we like you. Not as, uh, we don't Tracy rock Ellen you. Tracy Ross, her mom is Diana Ross, but her dad is a Jewish guy, so it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, so it's like when you break it down like that, it's like okay, like, And they say your lineage lineage is based on the father too, so that would um that would qualify Kamala because uh, the father is black. Is like the father's um DNA is what counts as your lineage. Is like so, like yeah, it's like that's what uh, that's what they say. I'm just going. Like, <laughs> I don't know who they is, but like, yeah. <laughs> like if you have a white father and a black, it's like yeah, does it count? It's like to your lineage it's just like because your lineage comes from your father. That's what they say. It's like. <laughs> the whole taps is what I'm talking about. That's what they say. It's like yeah. can you find somebody that they like? Like I said, so one person who would disqualify uh, that has a white father, Lauren London has a white father, so she's not black then by that. <laughs> And a lot of guys like Lauren London, so she's not a black woman then if you like her. <laughs> if you go by that, then it's like, wait a minute. No, you said that if you have a, this is what you said. Well, then you have to try and like kind of undo it. <laughs> Some big ass mess and shit. But So let's stop doing that. Let's stop basing people's, you know, being like, um, you know, I think um not I black. I just said it a few minutes ago. I, th I think black men are going to decide this election coming up. So they probably are. So Kamala And I've seen got, it. Kamala I've got seen a lot of work to do because I've of seen a mixed uh, a lot thing of about black men that aren't right. A lot of uh, my I've seen time a mixed thing about it, but I'm right with her. Yeah. my thing is before you just start, um, before you just start looking at TikTok and looking at AI generated videos, actually do some research about your candidate. So do some research about her. 
because a lot of stuff that was said about her, it was a lot of unfounded stuff that was said that she did this. And it's like, where's OK, when did she do it? And then you can't present And then some stuff she actually did do, like um, when she she literally went on TV and did say, I'm not going to do nothing that's only going to benefit black folks. So it's, it's some stuff she did do, and it's some stuff she didn't do. Just do your homework and make Mm your -hmm. own Yeah, do decisions. your homework and see that. It's like, yeah, but interesting. Here's what happened on, I'm going to play this clip. I don't know if you heard it. Fox and Friends, yeah. Have you heard this clip, by the way? Do you know where I'm going at? Is it about the sorority thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I, I read the transcript. So you know um so you, you know the story. I I'll know play the story. and let you decide. It's like I have my decision. Can you see this? Yes, I can Okay, see. I'll bring it up. Let me know if you can hear it. Um when I'm you hear this? Most recent decision. You heard that? I heard that, yeah. Clearly. Okay, I'll start it over. We're gonna play it back and see like Most recent decision already you got a question. She will not show up for the Prime Minister's uh, joint session of Congress today. She rather address in the summer a sorority, a college sorority. What does she say? What do you say? Let's listen again. Sorority, It sounds a college sorority. Let's get it again. I'll play okay. it again. No, Okay. we're gonna play it again. I wanna um be I wanna be fair and balanced, like Fox says. <laughs> You're not sorority, right. a college sorority. Like what does he say? What did you hear him say? Oh, I, I, it muted out. I didn't hear that the Let's last put it time. back. I'll put it back further then. Let's see. Congress today, she'd rather address in the summer a sorority, a college sorority. Like she can't get out of that. Okay. Naima. Honestly, like, yeah, without context, like, without knowing that um, it was Fox or anybody, like, what did you hear? It sounded like colored. <laughs> it does sound cold, <laughs> but it doesn't sound enunciated. So See, I heard, I heard college. a color, it's a color it's, it's not enunciated. It's not, but to say college sorority, but sororities are done in college. So it's kind of redundant to call a sorority a college sorority. So sororities are in college. You don't play the sorority in high school. You don't. So, I mean, that's kind of redundant to say that. So, it's kind of. Are groups called sororities that aren't affiliated with college, though? It probably is. Also. I don't think so. I don't know. Not as far as I know. Not as far as I know. So, did he say colored? Is that what, that's just what you're going with? I, I, it sounds. That's what you're going <laughs> it sounds. I can hear both. I can hear college and code. I honestly can hear both. It with. <laughs> I heard sounds. college. Yeah, I'm just being honest. <laughs> It sounds like both. Like it, it wasn't. It wasn't thought out. It wasn't. Whatever <laughs> it is, is viral now and shit. oh Yeah. my gosh! So I was like, yeah, we got to talk about that. I want to. Yeah. So now that's been a debate too in timelines too. Like, yeah, he's like Roland Martin, of course, said colored is like, and I was like, I heard college, and then I was the coon for that one. So, yeah. <laughs> It's not. It's not enunciated properly, Fox, but. Fox, Fox says a lot of actual racist stuff. I don't think we got to make up racist stuff. <laughs> a lot of actual racism does that. It's not enunciated that well. So, Cause like I heard <laughs> colored. The results are inconclusive in your I heard color. And then I did hear college a little bit. But anyway, a color, a color is worthy. Like the way he, it wasn't enunciated because if you say colored, like colored college, like that's Still how calling you enunciate stuff colored the word. in 2024? Is that still a thing? That's, that's dumb. Is I that hope still no one is using that word <laughs> to describe if black that's people. the case, you could have could have just said a black sorority, Same. like, and then this wouldn't even be an issue. Like, why say color? <laughs> because Why even say college sorority? Like, you don't have to say college sorority. It's sorority. <laughs> All right. It's a like, mess. just don't be dumb. Like, if you if you think that anything can be misinterpreted, just speak clearly. That that that's the thing that I'll leave with. That speak clearly and enunciate your words. Pronounce your e's. Pronounce your r's. <laughs> So you basically, pronounce um, your d's. <laughs> pronounce your t's. ah, Whatever. I, I found another one. This one might help. What? Let me hear. It's going to play it in slow motion, baby. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We're not done with that yet. I say enunciate yourself because, like I said, I could hear both. I could hear both. How the hell do I unmute this now? Let me see. Because you know how sometimes when you listen to certain words, like you could hear, uh, I'll you start. could hear two things. Sorority. Oh, sorority. I'm trying to run it from the top. Okay. 
I'm going to start it from the beginning. Let me share again. I think we got one. <laughs> this one might help more. They play it in like, um, they break it down in like um, time lapse. Frame and by stuff. frame. Let's play it. Oh. Let's take it from the top. Take it from the top. Oh. Rewind, she'd rather right. address in the summer a sorority, a college sorority, like she can't get out of that. A sorority, a college sorority, a college sorority, college sorority. Interesting. <laughs> I could hear the G now when he broke it down. I could hear the G, but the way he ran it together. You got to enunciate your words. If people just want him to say color, that's all that was. You got to enunciate your words because when you're, especially in today's climate, especially anything, with that, like, yeah, anything can be AI. People can chop up sound bites. People can take small things and make you look out of context. Right. Like anything could be taken out of context. So you could take any phrase that someone says. So it's best to really. I reiterate, you, could, you right. could like, you know, do stuff like that and then really speak clearly. Don't let people, don't let people put you in some shit that you don't need to be into. Just, <laughs> yeah, you that happens. People are going to put you in shit that you don't need to be into. Yeah, that could have been avoided, but. Enunciate. And like I said, you don't have to say college sorority because sororities are done in college. That's redundant. You don't have to do that. Just a sorority. Like, yeah, like, really, you're blowing off to do this sorority or he, if he could have said it backwards, if that was the case, like, yeah, he visited in colleges and sororities at that, it's like, yeah, he had flipped it. It might have helped. <laughs> hey, well, you could be yeah, doing but saying this, it like, like that. He going around visiting a college right now, really. It's like, yeah, that was uh, a mess. Yeah, that was a dumb, dumb. <laughs> and now, like I said, once you've been done, once you've been branded as racist, oh, I tell the truth when the lie is more entertaining. Like, once you've been branded. College, well, he said college or colored, like in um on Black Twitter, he said college, colored. It's like yeah, whatever. Once you've been branded as that, that's the kiss of death for white people. Because once you've been branded as racist, it's hard to it's hard to pull out of that. You can't. Mm -hmm. Now you're the racist. Yeah. <laughs> so, bottom line, enunciate, pronounce all your syllables. Really. Okay. <laughs> that's the advice I give to people. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna shift from that. I gotta get to this. Oh, uh, well, you know the story. Uh, to Sonia Massey, we gotta talk about it. Yeah. Would you like to watch the video first, and then uh, I watched the video already, and I wish I would not watch the video. I think I should play. Uh, I'm not gonna play the moment. I should play part of it though, like because I saw the moment and just yeah. watching it, it just. So I don't want our shit taken down, so I don't think I'm going to play the moment. But I am going to play it right up to the moment. I'm going to get as close to the moment where I can and then cut it. Because they will take this shit down. Let's full screen that one. Of course, they gave it. Yeah, the graph. So we put the disclaimer. And yeah, uh, what I used to say, if um, fair use, fair use, fair use, fair use. So mm -hmm. let's, let's unmute it. So we can get some of the conversation about it. Hey, this is the um. This is the other uh, his partner's body cam we're looking at right, right now. Right, because his body cam was off. He turned it on at the last minute. So we're gonna see his vantage point. I'm gonna show you that so you see what he saw, and then like that um, that really like um paints a clear picture of what happened. When it's like when you see his vantage point, it's like yeah, that really okay. Like that really like shows like what happened. But let's look at part of this. Stuff. Checking the perimeter, of course. This is our house. He takes she takes a while to come to the door because it's like in the middle of the night. She had to put some clothes on or something like that. So I'll skip all yeah. that. It's like I'm gonna skip to when she just opens the door. Yeah. Um, okay, that's right there. She's at the door now. So it took like it's already like four minutes in. She still hasn't come to the door yet. It was middle of the night, so yeah. Okay. No, we all walking around. I know, y'all. Please, God, please, God. I'm trying to get help, y'all, but what do you need help with? Nothing. I just please, God, please, God, please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? 
What do you want help with? Uh, I heard somebody outside. Yeah. Well, she did hear somebody outside. That's why she called him. We checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. He's the one that shoots her, this cop right here. Yeah. Hard. We didn't see nobody. Yeah, so. Nobody's out here. You didn't see anybody? No. Nope. Oh. We checked the whole area. Okay. What take you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. The middle of the night, I had to put some clothes on. Yeah, I really want some clothes, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to get I got you. All okay. right. Is there anything else we can do for you? No. Yeah. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, sir. Okay. And it should have ended right there. It's like, mm -hmm. why did it go further than this? It's like, because, so this should have never happened in my yeah. opinion. I tell a personal story. Um, It's like, as we all have, I'm sure you've called the police when you saw suspicious activity, as have I. It's like, um, the mm -hmm. police either, A, they're not going to even come in your house at all. It's like, they're going to like search the perimeter. And if they mm -hmm. do have to talk to you, guess what? It's through the door. It's like, yeah. Exactly. Should not come in your house for like um something like that. Like yeah, matter, why are you coming in my house? I got a recent story just like about a month ago. Like I was at work, the radio station. It was just this shithead that was I saw outside. He looked as weirdo and shit. <laughs> and so I called the cops. Said, this is a dude like just hanging around the front door. Like I don't know why he's there. Mm -hmm. it's like, you know, I work overnight, so I was like, so they came and I saw them pull up, saw them talk to the guy, and then like they, everybody left. They never even came and talked to me. It's like mm -hmm. they waited, like talk, so like probably saw what what he was on. He might have been drunk or whatever. They talked to the guy. What mental illness is a real thing because it, like it, going on mentally with him. Yeah, it's a lot of mentally ill people right now. It is. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, and uh, she might have been suffering for something because it seems like she's kind of out of it. So yeah, she might have been suffering from something. It's like, I it's, can't verify, but I saw a report. I haven't verified it, but they said that uh, one of her children said that she has schizophrenia. I haven't been able to. Yeah. Just looking I don't know at the if conversation, she seems like she's kind of off to me. Like I don't know if that's true or not. I said, but they said that. So I didn't see it quoted from yeah. her child, but somebody said that. I her did hear that story that. too. And just so going by this video, just she I can't seems, verify like, it. She seems a little bit off in this video to me. Just from like, I can't verify not a professional, but she just something just seems off about her. So mm -hmm. like it could be something like that. Who knows? It's like yeah, but um yeah, they they I, I'm gonna get back to the video. Okay, okay, all right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure. My medicine stuff. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> all right. That's not your black car though. The SUV. Oh, the car. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. The car situation, like what happened with that is like the window was busted. So they were asking her about the car. But if she says it ain't her car, then just keep it moving. It's like, right. <laughs> it says a car with a busted window right there. Yeah, but keep it moving. Yeah. You don't know? Someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's run that. Yeah. 19, I got a 20 for you. Does anyone else live here with you? Uh, that window, they did have a busted window. I saw another angle, but that window was busted on that car. You got a name? You got an idea or something? Take it to me real quick. Catch this. See who we spoke to. Okay. Yeah. Skip ahead a little, because we trying to save time. I guess all the fireworks I'm assuming. I hear fireworks somewhere. Because it was after the 4th of July, so you know people pop fireworks. It's July 6th, right? Yeah. This is yeah, July 6th. People, so like, people, people do still pop fireworks. 4th of July happened in the middle of the week, so this was like that yeah. weekend, so people the were weekend, still popping fireworks. So it's like, we're going to use up this crazy cat. Yeah. Well, it's not Springfield. I mean, this is Springfield, so. Yeah, they might have <laughs> drove to Indiana from there. I don't know. Okay, you have to break down state Indiana, too. I don't know. It's like, yeah. Could be. Yeah. We just already carry the cat land in Chicago. Yeah. Out in her house, like why are you in her? Why are you in her house? Why are you in her house? Why are you looking in her house? Mm -hmm. And looking around, that's why what? you got to know your rights, especially as us, our people. Because why yes. are you in her house? She hasn't shown anything that she has. Like you didn't. Like when she opened the door, you didn't smell. Yeah. It's legal in Illinois. Weed is legal now in Illinois, so yeah. you can't even do that in Illinois. It's like you didn't. See, uh, you didn't see somebody's doing cocaine. Let's uh, just... You didn't see a meth lab in her uh, kitchen. If you saw a meth lab in her kitchen, okay, yeah, yeah. you can't, you know, you didn't see Alice like snorting coke off of Holly's desk. You didn't see that. It's like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> you walk in on that, it's like maybe okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. but um. Yeah, like they shouldn't even been in the house. Why and are like, you even in this woman's house? Why are you in as, her house? Um, especially our people, we don't know like how it works. Is like the police cannot enter your house 
without a warrant. Without a warrant. Unless you give them consent, like I was mm-hmm. like, she probably like they probably said, "You mind if we come in?" And she's like, "Okay, you can say like, absolutely, like, absolutely not. I don't want you in there. Mm-hmm. You don't have to give them a reason either. Just like, no, nah, I don't want mm-hmm. you in there." It's your amendment right. Or Fourth Amendment, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Constitution. It's Bill of Rights. That's part of the Bill of Rights. Fourth Amendment, yeah. It's like, be like, nope, can't come in. It's like you don't mm-hmm. even have to give them a reason. Just like, no, nah, I don't want you in my house. It's like that's mm-hmm. the only reason you got to give them. It's like, and then because it's the middle of the night, like maybe she is still kind of a little bit groggy too on top of it. So then, yeah, okay. Like, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't like um, agree to it without thinking. Is yeah, like, you're still a little bit groggy still. Yeah, because I missed that part. Like, I thought they, the other guy was around the side when the first cop went in. So, like, he probably asked, could he come in? And, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. and she said, okay, instead of saying, ah, oh, no. Nah. It's like, yeah, I don't want you in. Because, yeah, like, only two house? reasons police should enter your house. Like, yeah, we're going to go long today, but I don't give a shit. It's like, only two reasons people should enter your, police should enter your house is, like, um, if um, if there was a break-in, they come look around to see, like, yeah, the damage. Like, so a break-in, mm-hmm. if you call them over that. Or if um, it's, like, a domestic incident. Like, yeah, if mm-hmm. somebody's in your house, you want to get them out of there. Okay, like, mm-hmm. this motherfucker's here, he would not leave. And they come in to get him out. It's like, yeah. So right. that's the only two. Any other reason a police should never enter your house is like, yeah. mm-hmm. like legally they shouldn't. It's like those are only mm-hmm. two reasons. Like if somebody like broke in your house and you just want they want to come and see like what they did, they, they trash my place and all of that. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. like I said, and if it's domestic, okay, it's this motherfucker who won't leave. Like come get him out of my house. Mm-hmm. The other reason, like like a prowler, like nah, you shouldn't like or like um a suspicious person, they shouldn't enter. Yeah, you shouldn't enter your house for that. If they have to talk to you, talk to them through the door, like she just did mm-hmm. right there. They should never come in. Just talk to them through the door or they don't even talk at all. Like I said, I didn't talk at all when they came and got that guy by the radio station just about a month ago. So that's what we'll, we'll continue. Okay. Hello? Yeah, I need, um, I got the sheriff's department here, but I'm looking around and shit. I'm coming for help from y'all. Okay. Are you there with me? They're here in my house right now. Okay, I'll let you go and you talk to them. No, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, sir. You can hang up, Todd, what's your... You can hang up for what? No, hold on, okay? You can hang up. Hold on for what? Uh, just one second, okay? Because she probably feels uneasy now. Okay. Okay. In her house, of course. Being, like... <laughs> being a black woman, you got these two men, you're by yourself. By yourself, yeah. Woman. In like the Perfect. middle of the Bible, night. Please. It's like yeah. after midnight yeah, when this happened. So and these are big here. men. Like they look like big strapping guys. Is, um, these are big men. This is one o'clock in the morning. Look at one nineteen. It's like after, it's like in the middle of the night. I said this is one o'clock in the morning when this happened. <laughs> was there any damage previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah. It okay, was. What was the damage? A dent, I believe. But what about windows? Oh, that it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Uh, Shouldn't have to think about your last name. Okay. You're not in trouble. I just need to touch. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because it's. You just have that stack right there, maybe. Okay. One second. Check on yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see. Here's where the pot right here. She has to pull the pot off. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you going? Uh, away, from away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would you in the name of Jesus. Huh? You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot your ass. He already got his hand on his gun. Which she's, yeah. That's why she's. That's why she said I rebuke her in the name of Jesus. Like she knew she was about to die. That's what. I, mm-hmm. She saw him. He got his hand on his gun. Like see, she, he's not threatened. He got his hand on his weapon. All he has his hand's weapon, and she's how right. far away from him? Yeah, it's a little distance. Yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> it's a whole. It's a whole counter. Like, an island. Them. You got an island. In it's front. an island. <laughs> And that's why she said that because she knew that um it was a rap. That's why she said I rebuke you. That's my opinion. Like I think she knew she was about to die. That's why she said that. Cause people like, why did she say that? I think she knew that it was a rap. She's she like, felt okay. his spirit. That's what they said. She, she felt, felt that his spirit. Yeah, she that, felt that, that about... devil spirit. She felt right. that. That's why she says that. I'll put it back a little bit so we can hear it again. Yeah. Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away you from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'll shoot you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you in your fucking face. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking talk! The fucking talk! Drop the fucking... She dropped it there, so that's why I'm going to cut it. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Because yeah. I just saw that part where she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And then 
just the language. You better fucking not. I'll shoot your fucking face fuck, off. Shoot your fucking face. Whatever. Who, who, who says that? All right, I'm gonna show his angle so we see what he saw. This is his body camera. What's his name? We're gonna get his name again. Deputy um Grayson. Yeah, Grayson. former Deputy Grace. He's fired now. Yeah, so former Deputy Grayson. And he's been arrested already. Yeah, and he's first degree murder charges. So yeah, yeah this is his. Charged. This is his body cam because he did turn it on at the last minute. Like yeah, probably when that all of this argument started, he's he's his is on right here. This is his like his body cam. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking, drop the fucking. Hands were up, hot dust. You saw her hands go up. It's like, yeah. 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 So, and she's like, said, nice distance, hands were up. It's like, so, why'd you shoot her? It's like, <laughs> why was she shot? Yeah. And I don't want to actually show the shooting because I don't want this video. Yeah, because she dropped and then she had her hands up. Like I said, and like, I'm thinking we I saw it that we saw from his eyes. That was that last one was like what he saw. So like, yeah, what 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 about that made him shoot what, her? What in, about you made threaten? Made her shoot him in the, her in the face. Like what? Said, about looking at her, she looked like a small statured woman. These were big men. Like you saw how they towered over her. These were big men. Yeah, she was. And a, she to... was like petite, like a, a skinny little thing too. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a little. Yeah. Like, yeah, she wasn't like, yeah, like skinny, like petite, like little, little. Yeah, bit. she looked like she was smaller than me. She looked yeah, smaller she looked than little, me. Little bitty thing. She looked like, like. a small woman. Mm -hmm. And you were big six foot three, 200. With, 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 pound with man. Guns. And you're scared of a woman who's five, three, 115. Yeah. Make it make sense. My thing, and here's my soapbox time. So, I don't know what it goes into being a police officer as far as becoming one. I know that being a police officer is one of the hardest jobs you have to do because you do have to make a life decision in a split second. I'm not discounting being a police officer because I would never be able to do that, to go out there and put my life, put my life on the line like that every day. I could, I just, yeah. So for the good cops, I do salute the good police officers. I do. But as far as a vetting thing, is it a vetting process where we check some of these people who just want to have a gun because maybe you were bullied as a child and now this is your this is your opportunity like, to like I'm, 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 the, I'm the man now. now. I'm the deputy in town. I'm the sheriff. I I run the show. Do they vet out people like that? Because I have a feeling that some of these officers, the way that they act, like his whole thing, as soon as she said that, you better fucking not, I'm going to shoot your fucking face off. The first thing that comes into his head, I'm going to shoot your fucking face off. Mm. He said that. We got him. We on, heard him. That's, him that's, not, that's not college and colored right there. We heard that yeah, clearly. You're on, you're on camera, clear. We got you saying that shit. That's not that. You can't misconstrue that. Yeah. Smoke, or it wasn't said clearly. He said it very, very clearly. Shoot on your fucking face, his exact words. I'll shoot your fucking, I'll shoot you in your fucking face. Yeah. And we know what happens when someone gets shot in the face. Usually someone dies if they're shot yeah, in the face. Yeah, shot sudden most of the time, most of the time, fate, fatal. Like very few people, like, okay, like 50 Cent survived being shot in the face. He survived it. But who's the um of the senator that she survived the headshot? I can't think of her name right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of speaks like slurred now, but she's yeah. Some headshot. I can't think of her name. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I, I can't picture, I can't think of the uh the lady's but you know name. exactly but what I'm talking about. I know about. what you're talking about. Yeah, because when you shoot, because like even 50, like when he got shot, like when he the way he rapped before he got shot, he sounded different. Yeah, even now he, he speaks with a slight slur right now. He it's talks like kind talk. of like he talks like kind of through clenched teeth. Yeah. That's how he talks. Yeah. But it's like usually those shots are fatal. And in her case, obviously hers was fatal. What's fucked up about this, like, which is further on in the video, I don't want to show because, yeah, I don't want our shit taken down. Like, after when, um, the other, when the, the other cop is, uh, he's going to go out and get the medical kit, you know, like, it's yeah, like, supposed to, um, render aid, like, after he's supposed to do CPR, you're supposed to. And then, like, the one that shot her says, like, it's a headshot, she's already she's dead. Yeah, he said she's already <laughs> gone, yeah, oh, whatever he's dead. Even though she was still breathing, technically, yeah. So, but um, he told him not to even go get the kids. Like, don't bother. Yeah, she's already dead. Something like that. Like even uh, the boy, um, the one who got shot, uh, was it the Alex? Um, 
the boy in Chicago, the one who got shot that had the gun, the 12 year old, and then the officer shot him. Okay, I um I can't think of Alex, that. P Alex something. But yeah, what about her stuff? Um, because even like from that officer's body cam, like I said, because like when he shot him, because he did have a weapon, and then when he shot him, he shot him once, and then he administered, he immediately started administering CPR after he shot him, because I saw that he admit, he immediately What's her started name? Um, in Minnesota, CPR the um, after he shot what's him the young lady? Um, um, what's Makaya Bryant? That shooting. You remember that shooting? Like the um, Mm -hmm. she's a, yeah, the with the knife, yeah. Yeah, they had the knife. It's like when the, the cop just shot her, he immediately rendered. He administered a, yeah, because That's what you're supposed to do in a shooting is like, yeah, mm -hmm. you don't just stand there and let them die. It's like she's you don't want the person to die. You do want to disarm them for because, like, especially if somebody has a weapon, they're trying to come at you with the with somebody else. You don't want them to kill or you get you know you don't want that. You want to stop them, but at the same time, you don't want them to die. So, yeah. like, you're trying to, you should administer CPR as soon as that happens. Like I said, I've seen it where they, they administer. Yeah, you, they I mean, administer it's, it's a headshot. She's already gone. Yeah. Or the other guy was like, I'm going to go get the medical kid. Like, don't bother. She's already gone. It's a headshot. Some, like, I'm paraphrasing, but something like that, he said. He told him not to even go get the medical kit. Like, he told us, because, yes. <laughs> And this guy, he had been problematic, this Grayson dude. Yeah, they said he'd been fired from, what, five different? Yeah, he had been problematic. Like you said, vetting, like, these candidates, like, you That's what my question is. I said, so if you are an officer, can you tap in on that? Because, like I said, I don't want to give misinformation. I want to be educated. Is it? It's like you should have full, ment full mental health evaluation. Evaluation. Why do you want to be a police officer? I was bullied as a kid. Now I want to get my get back. No, you're not going to be a no. <laughs> That's a pass. You no. We don't want you on our team because revenge is not a reason to be. Revenge is not a reason. <laughs> like no, we don't want you. We don't want you on our squad. We don't want that. So, and then the fact that her children, like I did see the report that. One of her kids was saying that they weren't honest about the way that she passed. Like they didn't tell. And then the only way yeah, they found like it they, we, we didn't find this video just came out this week, even though this incident happened on the 6th. It's like it just mm -hmm. came out like about well, four days ago. And her like kids didn't even know that that's what had happened to her. Like they said, oh, she was shy and she was because so they didn't know the whole reason as to why she was shy and killed. Because when you hear that. Like I said, like we know, okay, we live in Chicago. Gun violence happens. I said, especially in large cities. We live in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not trying to make it be like desensitized, but if you hear that someone died from gun violence, it's like, okay, like maybe what they happened? got caught. Yeah. Maybe they got caught in, especially if somebody was unproblematic, you're like, they probably got caught in a crossfire and yeah. that's probably what happened. Or if it was a domestic situation, damn, that uh, jealous ex finally got them. Cause it was like a jealous ex that was stalking them. You start, you, you, you start putting together and piecing together. But when you see this, Mm. This was just this was just unwarranted. It was nonsensical. It was it was no reason that he shot that woman in cold blood. She was a mother of two. Former deputy, former sheriff deputy Sean Grayson. I want to pull his full name. Shithead. Up. Former shithead. Well, not former current shithead. We'll say he's not a former. Sean he Grayson was charged shithead. with three three counts of first degree murder, aggravated battery with a firearm, and official misconduct in connection with the death of Sonia Massey. So that's his charge. Is it? When is it going to end? Like just shooting people? Just like I said, I'm not even making this. Like I said, no. It's like I said, no. It's I have not mentioned race not one Where time. I, cause, um, I have not, not mentioned not race not that one part. time. A lot of people are playing the race thing. I'm not doing the race. Nope. It's, um, it's it's just a fucked up situation. It's like nothing to me. It's not I about think, race. My thing I keep on going back to when are people going to vet these officers who are, you're drunk off of power. Like that guy <laughs> should have never been a cop. I agree. Yeah, you're That's drunk off of power. Like, like yeah. And like I said, I missed the part of the conversation because the partner had walked around the corner. Mm -hmm. like, to Why check he even the was car. in the woman's house? And then um, he didn't have his camera on at the time. Like so, um, did he invite himself in? It's like I want to know there what, you go. more about how it, how they ended up in the house. I want to know more about that. Yeah. And then the other part is what type of penalties are given when you don't keep your camera on all the time? Mm. It has to be a safe. It has to be it a. Should be a, like um. As soon as you pull up, the camera should automatically go on. That's me. It has it. to be something in place. You don't have it on. It's like yeah, it got to be some kind of suspension or like fine. Like you should like dock pay. Like it has to be. Gotta make it. It, it got to be financial. You should be dock pay. Like if it got to be a fail safe on, in you know, there. Dock your pay. Like, it has to be because of dock course. Dock your pay is paid. Like but not turning that camera on. Of course, it's like 
you going to turn on, you going to, like, like we always say, like, even in um sports, like, the person who does the first hit never gets caught, but then the person who punches back and retaliates always gets caught, and then the person who started, like, what, me? Me? So I saw so, um, that <laughs> LeBron and Nazi back mm -hmm. But it is like that. So these officers, it's like, you kept your camera off, so you may have done something or said something that you didn't want to get recorded. So then you're just recording her reaction. So now you see her. So now she looks crazy. She looks belligerent. She you looks, turns it on right around the time with um, yeah, I rebuke you in the name of you. Know what I'm saying? She looks like she's uh she looks like she's out of pocket. She yeah. looks like she's but you didn't show what you did leading up to that. Yeah. You didn't show your part in this. Like we lucky we got the other um the whole we got everything with the other, but it's the partner, like his camera's yeah. on the whole time. It's like we got it all. And that's the other thing too. You good officers, turn on these bad ones because don't let them bring you down. Don't yeah. let them if you know your I've been seeing like kids. police departments all around, especially in Illinois, have been burying this guy. Like, yeah, because like I covered the news in Rockford and I talked about all about this story when it broke, like um during the week, like last week. And I mm -hmm. talked about the response. It's like it's like the Rockford police say, "Hey, we don't do that." And then all the surrounding towns like Freeport, yeah, and yeah. it's like, "Yeah, our police like we don't <laughs> we we don't condone that, nor do we like we do that shit." Like all of them, like uh, everybody been shitting on this guy. It's like, yeah. like yeah. And that's how it has to be. Like the good ones, if you see something, like go up the chain. Like I said, and then like I said, we know sometimes. Your, your chief, like I said, if he's in it with, if he's corrupt and dirty too, you might have to go above his head. You might yeah. just go, go as high as you can. Whoever you need to talk to, to rectify, to get these bad apples out, do what you need to do to get these bad apples out. But do like how we, swiftly this was handled is like, it's not like- We shouldn't uh, fear rain. though. Like right away, like uh, just how swiftly. And it's always been that history. Like I said, this is the only time I'm going to bring up race in this. Why a lot of black people say, and that's why I don't call the police. A lot of black people have that distrust and we shouldn't have a distrust. Like I said, the fact that a whole race of people, a yeah. whole race of I, people collectively say, I'm not fucking with the police. A yeah. whole race of people say that's that. That's fucked up because, yeah, it's like if some shit goes down, what are you going to do? It's like, yeah. So, <laughs> Thank you. Because I saw so many people, and that's why I don't, that's why I don't call it. That's so scary because it's like, if something goes down and I need protection, well, I'm going to call the police. Maybe just as simple as checking out somebody, yeah. It's a mm -hmm. shithead that's lurk. Like, if you see somebody hanging out in front of your house, you're going to call. Like, yeah, hey, yeah. come check this shithead out. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know who this dude is. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll watch quietly from my camera. I got my doorbell camera, so I'll watch. <laughs> I'll log in. And I'll watch from my and record it, just so you document it. I'm gonna record yeah, this. So I'll watch from my camera. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it is like that. It's like, um, like I said, I just happened. I saw a guy like lurking on the camera at the at the, the job, and I saw call the cops, and I saw him pull up. Saw them have a short conversation, maybe 10, 15 minute convo, something like that. Mm -hmm. Then they all left. It's like, yeah. I don't know if they arrested a the guy or just like told like guy got, got him they got him the fuck out of there. I don't know, but they all left. I know that shit. Maybe they took him home. So I don't know, but yeah, they all I know they they got they got him out of there. And they never talked to me at all. It's like it's like I said, like you know, don't even let them in your house. It's like that's my thing. Unless it's like a break in, like somebody broke in your house, or you have a domestic incident where you're trying to get somebody out of your house you don't want there. Mm -hmm. That's the only time you should ever let them in your house. Other than that, don't let them in your house. Yeah, but hate to end it on a sad note, but no, I, we had right. to watch that. Today. Rest in peace to her. Condolences. Yeah, really hope that justice is done and done swiftly. Hopefully, this this motherfucker won't go to trial. Like you just you, you got some sh take a deal. You need to just take a deal. You're not being this. You need to take a deal. Take a plea. Yeah, you need to plead. Plead out. Plead well, out to a lesser second degree murder. Plead out. Plead out to something because you might get <laughs> facing like some serious time. Yeah. Like minimum forty five for just the um, and then even, all the other charges like carry like even 30 that years right death penalty yeah. right death penalty possibly yeah. yeah exactly. So it's like if you know that you're facing <laughs> this, mm. take a plea. Try to work a plea. Try because it's on camera. Your partner had his camera on the whole time. You can't say. <laughs> we got everything. 
that a whole. You can't explain that away. It's it's no way you arrive to like the shooting. We got it all. It's like yeah, on camera exactly. But um, I think we need to wrap it up. Yeah, we went way over, but it's all good. (laughs) This is good content. Yeah, definitely appreciate you supporting. Not another damn podcast. You want to support us further? You know what to do. Give us a like. Also, subscribe, share, rate, review all your platforms. Talking Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, SoundCloud, iHeart, YouTube, your Amazon Alexa devices as well. And you can follow me at Ozman the Wizard on Instagram, TikTok, and X, and Oz Radio on Snapchat and Facebook as well. And you can check me at MSIMA8626 on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Mm-hmm. Also, S E R A G A L I E Y 1 on X, S E R A G A L I E Y 7 on Instagram. Also, please like the Straight Gully Facebook fan page and check out straightgully.com for your blogs and your blogs. Yeah. So I look at swimming on the Olympics now. <laughs> I'm Ozman the Wizard. <laughs> I- <laughs> and I Ema. You backstroking, but we'll follow you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Gone.